building a computer. What does that mean, to build a computer? You hear this term of quote-unquote building a computer, and you might think of someone actually getting in there and, you know, actually soldering the individual circuits. But it's more like putting puzzle pieces together than it is like anything else. And so um, it's actually a little bit deceiving when you hear this term, and I think anyone can do it, to be frank. So what people are talking about when they say this is they're actually talking about the internal components of a desktop computer, generally speaking. And this is just one part of a computer system. Obviously, there's a lot more external components like your monitor or, of course, your keyboard and mouse. And by the way, we're talking about PC. You can't necessarily build a Mac. Okay. Now, uh, so who would want who would want to do this? Who would want to build a PC? Well, it's usually people who want high-end graphics. So, gamers, uh, people who are into 3D graphics, and you know, someone who has a virtual reality headset might want to build a computer. And it used to be Bitcoin miners, but that they're starting to have like more powerful machines to do that. And Man, there's there's a lot of different reasons for building a PC. Uh, one of the biggest ones is it's relatively cheap. You can save a lot of money by doing this. And it's it's a very customizable option, so you have a lot of control over the specific parts of, you know, what makes up your system. And that actually makes it easier to upgrade down the road. And some people want to do it just, just to learn how a computer works. It's It's good knowledge. I eat this stuff up, obviously. So, uh, if you're going to build a PC, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you have at least 500 bucks in your budget. And you can find pretty much everything on Amazon or Newegg.com. And if you don't have the money to do it, there's nothing wrong with buying a pre-made machine, especially if you're doing basic stuff and you don't need those high-end graphics. I have no problem with refurbished machines. And actually, you can find a decent laptop for $200 if you look hard enough. Look for Lenovo's on Newegg. You can find some decent machines. And say you don't even want to go out and, and, and build or buy a whole new system. Well, you can upgrade your current one if you have a regular hard drive and you want to upgrade it to a solid-state drive. That's a great option because you'll really speed up your system. The, the only issue with that is you have to completely start from scratch. So you have to install everything new, including the operating system. And if you want a free free way to to have more computing power, well, you can overclock your system. Of course, there's a lot of risk with that, and there's a lot, you know, there's a steep learning curve with overclocking. But a simple way to do it is is to do it via software using uh, an app like MSI Afterburner, where you can actually get the most out of your hardware components without compromising those components. Um, as long as you keep them cool, I would actually recommend sticking a fan in front of your computer, especially if it's a laptop, if you're going to use an app like that. And you want to make sure all of your parts are compatible. Think of the puzzle analogy where you want to make sure all your, pu all your puzzle pieces fit together. And one of the great resources out there to make sure that this happens is to use a PC Part Picker where they have this system builder where you can actually go through and pick out all the individual parts of your computer, and the site will make sure that all the parts work together. And it actually has reviews on it and links where you can actually go to external sites like Amazon and, and find the specific part and, and buy it. And this is just one resource. There's another one called choosemypc.net where you literally have a price slider where you can drag it left and right and decide the price of your build and it'll actually it'll, it'll actually give you a list of parts for that particular price. So, lots of resources out there. And once you get all those parts, well then you got to make them all work together and once you get them all working together, well then you got to have something for them to do. So you got to put an operating system and and get your software set up. So, Future videos, I'll explain all that, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it means to build a computer, and I hope you have an awesome day.